What we had asked for was a deletion of the timelines which required that the vetting of judges be finalized within three months and that of the magistrate within six months. The board's mandate as specified by the Act before the recent amendment was for a period of one year from the commencement of the vetting process extendable at the request of the board by Parliament for a period not exceeding a year. As the vetting process commenced on the 23rd of February 2012, that would have meant that the board's term would have expired on 23rd February 2013, extendable by a further year, i.e. the 23rd of February uh, 2014, as against 28th of February 2013 under the Act as now amended and extendable by a further three months. This is to avoid any perception that a process carried out by the Judicial Service Commission, however well-meaning and however transparent, will not be perceived by the public as independent. And in that event, <coughs> the vetting will not achieve the intended objective of restoring public confidence in the judiciary. The Honorable the Attorney General has therefore been requested to propose for consideration of Parliament an amendment to the Act as now amended to revert the vetting of magistrates to the vetting board. The Act as amended and assented to by His Excellency the President enables us to restart the process and in the interest of expediency we have scheduled the first of the three bartered cases before us to begin today. In this, we thank the Honorable Justice Raval and our counsel, Mr. George Oraro, for their cooperation in agreeing to appear before the board at very short notice. Two other judges, namely Judicial Justices Karanja and Lesset, have also agreed to appear before the board at short notice, Justice Karanja tomorrow and Justice Lesset on Monday. We hope also to hear next week the applications for review filed by the four judges of the Court of Appeal who were declared unsuitable. We will thus have interviewed ten more judges in addition to the nine judges of the Court of Appeal and have finalized the four applications for review by Friday the 20th of July 2012 and we hope to announce our determinations on that day at 10 a.m.